Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, to the most high God. Yes. He is worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. This is the King's Road broadcast. And we're on the King's Road. We do this broadcast twice a week together. And today's message is a very important word. And share it everywhere. Every Christian needs to hear this because it's a fact. This is a fact. And we have lost sight of it as the church. The church has lost sight of this fact. Okay? It's a fact. According to the word of God. This is so important. Let's pray. Father God, we just ask you to open our hearts to receive your word today. Lord, you are the master. You are the king. You are the mighty God. Hallelujah. You have prescribed how it's all going to be, Lord. Hallelujah. Help us to enter in more to Christ by surrender and just surrendering ourselves to you to use us as you desire, Lord. Hallelujah. A glove doesn't tell the hand what to do, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We want to be your glove today. And you are the hand, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, so just help us to remember that. Help us to keep our focus upon you. Loving and praising you because you have redeemed us. Hallelujah. From the foundation of the world. And crushed the serpent dragon under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, God is so good. He is so mighty. I read this article this morning by T.L.S. and Spars, and it just really, it, it absolutely convicted me. Because it's the truth. And we lose, we've lost sight many times of this one simple truth that we, just listen to this. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to read the word. Honey, read Psalm 2 right there. We're going to read Psalm 2. Just listen to this word. This is a prophecy. Okay, go ahead. Why did the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, mm. saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision they think if they can get rid of god's people they can get rid of him it's mm, just not going to happen that's right then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure yet have i set my king upon my holy hill of zion mm. i will declare the decree the lord hath said unto me Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Oh, hallelujah. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Oh, the heathen. Ask of me, okay, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Now, keep that in mind as we go along. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Go ahead. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Okay, so who possesses the earth today? The Lord. The Lord Jesus. Who possesses the heathen? The Lord. The Lord Jesus. Okay? Now, when we read this, and when I've read this, and I think of the heathen, I was a heathen. Now the Lord has me. But I lose sight of the fact that he owns all the heathen. Okay? They all belong to Jesus. Okay? He's inherited all things. The uttermost parts of, and, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Every inch of land. Every acre, every mile, Jesus owns it all. It all belongs to Christ. Hallelujah. All of it. All of it. Revelation 11, it says he's going to destroy them who destroy the earth. Right? Yep, yep. And that's what this world order is doing today. They're trying to destroy the earth. We saw a, a little movie a couple days ago. A, a true story in West Virginia where the coal miners... And they were just raking the earth, man, just destroying people's wells. They were doing all this. They just yep. no no concern for nobody. Yep. And see, and this is happening all around. But the Lord says he he owns the earth. So you go mess up the earth and see what Jesus is going to do to you. Yeah, okay? you're in trouble. <laughs> you're Praise in trouble. God. Now go ahead, verse 9. Thou shalt break them 
with a rod of iron. <coughs> Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Oh, hallelujah. You know, this other scripture, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine Go inheritance. Go ahead, talk about it. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Everything, everything is the Lord. Everything, Lord's. talk about that. You know, if, and, and us. Us, that's right. We belong to God. He died for all. That's everything right. is his. Mm-hmm. And when we don't submit, to the fact that everything is his, including us, we are in rebellion. That's right. Period. That's right. <laughs> Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Does he sound like he's very happy with that? No. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. You judges of the earth Sorry. that are passing laws against God's word and against him. You, you better be instructed, right. judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. <coughs> Kiss the son lest he be angry and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in in him. him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, okay. Now keep that in mind too. Hallelujah. Now look at this. Hebrews chapter 1. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Okay? Praise (laughs) God. Who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son." And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let all the angels of God worship him. And and of the angels he saith, Who maketh his angels spirits, and and his ministers a flame of fire. His ministers. Now, we're his ministers. You're his ministers. If, If you're in Christ, you are his minister. A flame of fire. Oh, hallelujah. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. See, Jesus has a kingdom. And it is the only true kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doth a garment. And as a vesture thou shalt fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same and thy years shall not fail. Oh, I'm telling you right now, Christ is the ruler. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit thou on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, that's what they are. Now, (coughs) we're going to read this little part of this article okay and it's so powerful i want you to hear this because this really convicted me this morning and now i i want it to convict you i want it to convict you i i really do i really do and uh 
you know, just listen to this. This is part of an article. There's a new book out by Austin Sparks that he gave, you know, years and years ago. This is from 1954. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. This is it's such an awesome message. This is the last part of the message. It's called The Church's Message. That's the name of this broadcast today. This is supposed to be the church's message. Now, this is according to the word of God. Okay, listen to this and let's go through it kind of slow so we can really get what the Lord's saying here. Hallelujah. <coughs> that gives us our message. There is the believer's life as to what lies behind the call, as to what accompanies the call for assurance, for confidence, for the future. What about the church's message? What about the church's message now? Before this, he's talking about the believer. Can, now he's talking about the whole church now. Go ahead. You see, the church's message is called a declaration. A declaration. The word most characteristic of the function of the church and of the messenger of Christ is that he is a herald. He's a herald. Oh, praise God. It is a herald's business to make a declaration or a proclamation, oh, praise an God. announcement. What is the message? Mm. And mark you, this means far more than may appear on the surface. It is a declaration that all things belong to the Lord Jesus. Every unsaved man and woman belongs by right to the Lord Jesus. This world in every spot by right belongs to the Lord Jesus. Put your foot down there and say, This place belongs to Christ by right. That's right. The Holy Spirit, mark you, takes account of that and stands on that. Oh, yes, he has got them. They belong to him. See, oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everything is the Lord's. <laughs> Unsaved men and women, and saved men and women. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Everything is the Lord's. You know why? He paid the price. That's right. That's right. You know why? He paid the price. That's right. Preach it, sister. Come on. Listen to this. Everything. Everything. And if we don't step into line with that everything, then we are in rebellion. Now listen to this. <laughs> i got to read that part again. This world. Look at the world now. Okay. In every spot, <laughs> by right, okay, belongs <laughs> to the Lord Jesus. I own this land. I own my car. I own every spot, every everything, everything. Okay, belongs to the Lord Jesus. Put your foot down there and say, "This place belongs to Christ by right." Amen. That's right. That's right. right. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's Hallelujah. Right. The Holy Spirit, mark you, takes account of that and stands on that. When you put your foot down, see, you might think, oh, my dad owns this house. Or my mom, you know, this or that. Yeah. No, no. It belongs to Christ. Everything. 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 This house belongs to the Lord. This How, land belongs to the Wherever you're living, Lord. you say, this house belongs to God by right. This house belongs to <laughs> Jesus by right. That's right. It's his house. See? And the Holy Spirit will move right in there. Hallelujah. There might even be you unsaved may... people in that house, but I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit's coming down there. Hallelujah. It's you think about like it. When you go into the grocery store, what, <clears throat> what, what's come into the grocery store when you walk in the grocery store? The kingdom store? of heaven. Okay. Hallelujah. Declare it. Declare it. The kingdom of heaven is coming Come into here this place. to Hallelujah. this grocery Praise store today. God. That's right. This is by the, right. The truth. Where this Amen. is standing is the Lord's. That's right. You know, people, it's so, you know, these wicked people and stuff, they say, this is mine. That No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Glory to God. Everything. Lord. Belongs to God. Belongs to the Lord. Amen. And you Hallelujah. know what? If we are not. I'm going to say it again, aligning into that, that everything belongs to the Lord, everything and everyone belongs to the Lord, and we are not entering into that fact and that truth. We're just in rebellion. That's, That's all there is Amen. to it. That's right. And we don't want to be in rebellion. No, no, no. Read the next little part. It raises tremendous issues. The if fact you... that everything belongs to Christ. Go ahead. And it does, too. Go ahead. Read it again. If 
it raises tremendous issues. If you declare and make known the fact that men and women belong to the Lord Jesus by every right of, of creation, creation and redemption as his inheritance. inheritance, then if they refuse, if they refuse, they are held as guilty, guilty. of rebellion against the rightful owner. It precipitates a very positive, clear-cut issue. Okay? They are in rebellion. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. Next paragraph. If you are a sinner, an unsaved person, who does not recognize the absolute ownership of the Lord Jesus, and you are not in the presence of this declaration... Seeding him, him his right and uh, giving, giving him, his, him right, his right, then you are guilty of rebellion against God's appointed heir. Ooh. And why is that? He paid the price. That's right. He inherited all things. Hallelujah. It raises a tremendous issue. And it goes beyond that. If you belong to the Lord Jesus by right of God's giving and appointing, and you do not give him yourself. You are robbing Jesus Christ of his rights. Mm -hmm. It is very, it's a very positive issue. You see, you are in the category of a robber of God if you do not give him yourself. That's right. That's all right. of yourself and you're professing to be his. This, that, that is very serious. So this is the proclamation. Mm, hallelujah. There is the good side, the gospel <coughs> side of this. It's a grand thing. Mm. On the grounds which we have set forth to know I, I really, really belong, belong to, the, to Lord the Lord Jesus. Jesus. And recognizing and acknowledging that. There is no question as to whether he will accept what belongs to him. Hallelujah. As to whether he will keep what belongs to him. Glory to the Father. Or as to the destiny of, of what, what belongs, belongs to him. To him. Woo. All I have to do is to believe and see to him his, his rights. rights. Hallelujah. He's already got the right. That's right. Because he paid the price. And you give him his rights. You see, this is the work of the messenger. The, the herald, herald. The, the proclaimer, proclaimer. That's us, saints. The Holy Spirit is here, said to be committed to this. If we make the right proclamation or take the right position in relation to Christ's place in God's scheme of things, the Holy Spirit comes in on that. Oh. If we, that is so, so true. Mm, His hallelujah. position, cool not boy, our position, something. not their position, right. His position. That's right. Very often, the Holy Spirit cannot come in and precipi take precipitate issues, issues because we are not clear cut enough as to what this whole thing is about. And it is about nothing less than Christ's heirship, heirship of, of all, all things. things. Hallelujah. Get that in. And the Holy Spirit will come. With tremendous with conviction. Tremendous oh, conviction. Oh, oh, oh. We make the issue so, so much, much less. less. And usually what the individual is going to get, get as the benefit, benefit of coming. Of coming. To the Lord Jesus. Oh, oh. Jesus. Instead of primarily the rights right. of the Lord Jesus right. himself. It's See, we're right. talking about come to Christ so you can be saved. Come to Christ. We're not saying come to Christ because he owns you. Okay? You belong to him. All right? You belong to Christ, you wicked sinner. And if you keep rebelling, you see, you're, he, he's going to throw you out. He's going to throw you into the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. Mm -hmm. He already owns you. He already inherited you. He already See? paid the price. And you keep being a rebel. That's just that's your place. He's made a place for the rebels. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Proclaim him as Lord. And the Holy Spirit will set his seal to that. Ooh. The Holy Spirit always does that. 
in the unsaved or in the saved, when we seed anything, anything to him as Lord. And let him take his place as Lord on, on any, any point. point. I'm going to read that again. Yes, do. Let him take his place as Lord on any point. The Holy Spirit bears witness. That is always his ground. Oh, praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Spirit. Go ahead. So the Spirit is committed to calling according to purpose. And and what? Sealing, Sealing those who respond. who respond. Conforming them to, to the image of God's, of Son. God's Son. And of guiding them into all the truth related to God's purpose. purpose. <laughs> what does it say about the Holy Spirit? Woo! He leads you into Glory all God. truth. That's right. That is Christ's place. It is a deep thing of God. It is a big thing. It is an immense thing. But this has been revealed amongst many other things to us by the Spirit. May the Lord strengthen us by His Word. Mm. Now that's chapter 1 of this four chapter book that's come out and, wow. and they haven't come out with chapter 2 yet. But that is so powerful. Do you get that? Do you feel that power of the truth of God penetrating your heart? Listen, we... we we got to know that we have to proclaim and herald the truth that Christ Jesus is the heir of all things. Everything. Okay? Now, what do you do when you... If you go, and let's just say you go buy an old house. Okay? You, you see a house on the market and you buy this old house. These people are trying to sell it. It belonged to grandma and and the house is kind of run down, right? Maybe in filled trash and stuff, just junk, you know, just and what do you do when you buy that house? Do you go in there and just live amongst the junk? No. No. What do you do? You clean it out. You renovate it. You renovate it. Oh yeah, we were talking about that Sunday. <laughs> renovate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You you begin oh that was good. That was good Sunday boy. That was good. Good Bible study Sunday. Okay. Anyway, you renovate, right? And and so what? Christ is the inheritor of all things. Everything. So whatever is not according to his mind, he is removing it. Yeah. He is going to remove it. Mm -hmm. He's going to remove it. And the ultimate final destiny of all that is not of his mind and of his way is the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that is the message. That is the message. You have to be in Christ. You come into Christ all by... All in. All in. That's, oh, that's good, too. All in. Yeah. Where did we see that? Oh, all, <laughs> that's good. all in. All in. That's right. You just can't be part way in. Right. You got to be all in. You got to be all oh, in. Oh, the movie, uh, what is it? Uh, Fireproof. Yeah. 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 You got to be all in, he said. You just can't be part way. You got to be all in. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Hallelujah. Now, God has said, listen, I am with you, my people. I have created the universe out of things which do not appear and the world and everything. I made all the souls of men are mine, he says in Isaiah. See, God has breathed life into every living soul, even the rebellious souls. See, he's given them life. That's, that's right. right. But they're rebelling. God didn't make them sin. God didn't make anybody sin. You see? Hallelujah. But Jesus came and died because man rebelled. He, he died. Made a way to the Father. And, and opened the way. Yeah, he is the way. He, he is, is the, the way. way. That's right. Yeah. To the Father. No one comes into the Father but by, by me, Jesus, Jesus said. Amen. Wasn't that so good? Let's pray. Father, seal this word into the heart of every believer, Lord. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Let us never forget it, O oh Father. I bless you for it today. Thank you so much, Lord, for the ministry of your son, T. Austin Sparks, Lord, that all the suffering he went through, Lord, in his spirit and, and his body as well, Father, all those years just ministering the truth of your word. Oh, Father, thank you so much. It so blesses us today, Lord. And just let it penetrate every heart today. 
the truth of your word from the scripture. We read right there in Psalm 2 in Hebrews chapter 1, Lord. Jesus Christ is the heir of all things. Hallelujah. Not some, but all. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for your great mercy to your church. Great mercy. Hallelujah. Great mercy, Father. Thank you, Father. Seal this word to our hearts, Lord, and crush the devil under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Glory to the King. Our email address, the King's Road, 2000 at gmail.com. The King's Road, 2000 at gmail.com. Amen. Amen. Do you have anything to add? Who remember, God owns you. That's right. Woo. He owns you. He owns you. That's He's right. paid the price for you. All of you. That's right. And everything about you and everything you are. That's right. Everything we are. He and owns he wants all of us. That's right. And all that he has placed in our care, he wants that too. Amen, amen, amen. It's all or nothing, guys. That's right. Especially this hour, all or nothing. Praise his holy name. Okay. Praise his holy he name. He owns you. He's Ooh. paid the price for you. And thank God we're going to be witnessing his great victory more hallelujah. and more. Amen. We oh, are declarers of his truth. Heralds of his truth. Amen. Hallelujah. And you can absolutely go anywhere that he sends you. Put your foot down and say, This belongs by right, to Christ. Hallelujah. This is yours, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This place is yours. By right. By right. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that is good. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his holy face shine upon you, the Lord our God, Jehovah. Lift up his holy countenance upon you. Grant you peace. The Lord be gracious unto you in his name. That is his authority and his character and his dominion and his rule and his reign. Hallelujah being in upon your life as you go forward conquering and to conquer hallelujah in the mighty humility of the lord jesus christ amen and amen glory to the father hallelujah